Hello and welcome to my three tick cooking guide. So um, this method requires a little bit of manipulation of your interface. So first things first, you want to always do all of your cooking here at Birthrope because by doing it here, every single time that you go to light um, another log, you only have to step one square and it'll automatically put you back here. And from this distance, you can already access the bank. So there's only ever one square that you have to walk when relighting the fire that you need for your cooking. Now this is the inventory that you want to have as a preset. You want to have your current cooking urn, a ready cooking urn, uh, some willow logs, and then 25 food. So specifically for three, three tick cooking, what you want to do is you want to drag your inventory over and get this last piece of food. You can, I mean, you can change this to however you want. You can even put it like this where and I guess that wouldn't really be all that useful because you wouldn't have your log there. You could move your log down here and do it as such but basically however you want to go about modeling your inventory you want to have it so that your last piece of food is right by the fire. So when you go and light your fire here you want to have it so that this trout or salmon would depending on um, what one you're currently doing is right next to the end of the fire. So just to uh, make it a little bit easier on myself here, I'll I'll do it like this. All right. So I'll zoom in here a little bit, and now this raw trout is extremely close to my fire. You can also use AHK to make it a little bit easier, but eh, either way works. So basically what you want to do is cook as you would normally and just hit space but instead of continually cooking like this and just letting your character cook over and over what you do is you use every single uh, trout on the and this guy's getting in my way so you use every single trout on the fire itself so as you can see here I'm cooking at this rate but I can speed it up by one tick each and every um, piece of food if I were to as soon as the XP drops use that on the fire as soon as the XP drops use it on the fire and you continue doing this and I just lagged there a little bit so that didn't work but as you continue to do this you speed your cooking up by one tick per um, piece of food and this way you're cooking in three ticks rather than in four ticks and so you just continue to do this and then the last one will automatically cook on the fire you bank you withdraw your preset just by clicking use your uh, use your keyboard to type in one or two whatever you have it set as and that's how you restart your inventory so once your fire goes out all you have to do is step one again this is why you use birth rope. You only have to step one square away before lighting, and that light will put you automatically right next to the bank again. And so again, all you do is just hold space and go ahead and use a piece of food on the fire every single time you get an XP drop. So I'll finish off this inventory here. And once I finish off this inventory, uh, so I, I finished my cooking urn there. And I mean, just as you would expect, all you have to do for your cooking urns is just simply, you know, teleport it away and there you go and then obviously you know bank again and if you need to go back here and that's how you do it so that is three tick cooking in a nutshell pretty easy pretty simple um, just remember use every single piece of food on the fire as you get that XP drop and this will reduce the time for each individual piece of food to be cooked from four ticks to three ticks. So basically, uh, in terms of each individual piece, it's 25% faster, but you have to bank slightly more often per hour. So 
the XP per hour increase is somewhere around 20% depending on how quickly you bank although with presets obviously as soon as you open the bank you can get the whole inventory out again so basically somewhere around 20 to 23 percent or so increase in XP per hour thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video alright so as I watched that clip back I realized that quite a few times I wasn't actually three tick cooking and I was just doing like regular four ticking even though I was using each individual trout on the fire and that happens whenever you do it slightly too slow and as I was doing that you could see on the recording it slightly lagged and skipped a few frames every here and there and also I was somewhat concentrated on actually speaking and getting across whatever the uh, information of that part of the video was so rather than just hoping that you guys do it correctly I am right here going to do a completely uncommentated uh, or anything inventory wherein I just simply shut up for a second and I do the whole inventory well I'll do two whole inventories all completely three ticked and yeah so let's let's do that who would sit out here to do a story to do a story about what uh, as you can see there's construction underway here uh, they've dug out a little bit there's water has accumulated traffic's backed up and the city decides of Houston there's always traffic so what's the big fucking deal? What the fuck are we doing out here? I ask you, what in the fuck are we doing here? What in the fuck are we doing? So what's the big fucking deal? What the fuck are we doing out here? I ask you, what in the fuck are we doing here? What in the fuck are we doing? What really happened on that Thursday here at Augusta High School that led to Chris Wood's death? The fuck is that? Shit! Shit flying in my mouth. The fuck I can't see. Get the fuck out this country, motherfucker. I can't see me. Shit flying in my mouth. The fuck I can't see. Get the fuck out this country, motherfucker. Who's sitting out here to do a story? To do a story about what? In the city the size of Houston, there's always dragons. So what's the big fucking deal? What the fuck are we doing out here? I ask you, what in the fuck are we doing here? What the fuck are we doing? So what's the big fucking deal? What the fuck are we doing out here? I ask you. Fuck out this country, motherfucker.